Elsie. What's up? We're in the Studio 104 presenter. Poop Dog! Hey, hey, hey. What's happening? We got the album coming out in like two weeks, I think, right? Yeah, March 11th. It's gonna be called Ego Trippin'. And then uh, Elsie's favorite show, I think, Fatherhood. I love it. I do. I must Thank admit. You, baby. <laughs> Thank you, baby. But um, let me ask you some questions about Snoop Dogg Fatherhood. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you, you're on there and you're portraying yourself as a positive role model and everything like that. Do your kids ever question, like, your music or anything you should say in your music? No, nah, my kids, they, they, they know me and they love me and I'm, I'm one of their best friends. So, you know what I'm saying? They accept me for who I am. And, you know, that's one thing about my relationship with my kids. It's 100. It's never been, you know, fraudulent or fake or plastic. It's always been what it is. So, you know, when y'all get a chance to see it on TV, that's what it is seven days a week. Are you like, I think you expressed before that you're kind of disappointed about, you know, the image that the media puts out there sometimes. You want to show what it really was behind the scenes. Is that how you I just felt it? like I wasn't getting enough, you know, love for the things that I do that's positive. So I took the opportunity to capitalize with this television show and make the backdrop of it, you know, become, you know, my family time. So that way you can see that I was a regular person, a human being who do have values and responsibilities and who has to take care of those responsibilities and it's just... You know, it just took this TV show for people to really understand that I'm a real person. I'm not a superhero. Do you think there's two people like Snoop, the you know, the hip hop star, and Snoop, like the real person? I guess is that is that a, really a different person, or is it just people perceive that to be a different person? I wouldn't know what people perceive. You know what I'm saying? Because I just do me. I just try to get up and make sure that everything that I do is fun. Anything that I'm connected with has to be fun. Whether it's music, TV show, performing, interviews, it's got to be fun. It's got to be something that's an interactive you know, situation with me or either the public that, that make me who I am. So, like, what gets you out of bed in the morning? Like, where, what's your goal? Do you have, like, somewhere you're going? Or is, it, is there some message that you're trying to put out there? Or, you know, what are you all about? Mm. I just love it. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that I can make music and people love to hear me say it. And, and singing, whether it's singing, rapping, talking, or whatever it is, that people are interested in me. So it, it turns me on and it makes me want to, you know, get more information and more game and more wisdom so that way when I have a panel in front of me or whatnot and I'm speaking, I got something to say. Do you consider yourself a singer now? Because there's a lot of singing going on in this album. Well, I don't consider myself a singer. I just consider myself a, a, a musician. So I'm able to do anything that's dealing with music, whether it's singing or, or making the music or, you know, rapping. It's all within one world. And that's just making people feel good whenever you're in the studio. And that's what I'm all about. Got a, a movie coming out this summer, The Golden Door. You heard about that? I did. I looked it up on <laughs> Internet Movie Database. It's like, dude, yeah. he's got a movie coming out. Like anything on the internet. <laughs> yeah, a little something I did, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep my feet in the acting world, you know, not trying to do the regular basic characters that I'm normally accustomed to doing, which is bad guys or gangsters or comedians. Just wanted to do something where I could really, you know, do some acting and try to portray a real character. And what's your character in the movie? What's it about? Um, I'm a doorman. I think I work at a at a hotel, but I'm real I'm real smart and I'm slick and I'm sharp and I got um, one of these new guys that I'm teaching, you know, the ropes to and basically end up falling in love with his sister and it's it's a great story. Now you like you have like trouble overseas and stuff, like, you know, in the UK they had some problems with not letting in Australia and stuff. That's what been revoked. I've been able to return now, so what is all that? <laughs> <laughs> but you don't seem like a very aggressive, like, negative I'm not, person. I'm not. I'm just a how bad all, boy. I'm, I'm a stuff? bad boy. And when you're a bad boy, they always, <laughs> they make it worse than what it really is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the people fought to get me back over there. So now it's been lifted so I'm able to return. And um, my whole thing is I move with peace. I move with harmony. I move with love. So there's no need for you to even feel like that about me, despite I come from a negative background and, I'm an ex-drug dealer, ex-gang member. That's all ex, though. You understand what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard trying to take off one jacket and put on another jacket when they know you for being who you was as opposed to who you are. That's what I get. Well, I mean, before we did the interview, one of Elsie's friends was kind of upset. and Oh, know, yeah. <laughs> they were like, well, you know, Snoop's not a role model. Right, I'm disappointed. right. But I, was, but I don't get that from you. I don't, I don't get any negativity. I get, what I get from you is like a complete lack of negativity, like in everything that you do. Yeah, because I come from a negative world. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know brought up and bred to love being negative, you know, being in a, in a gang, being in a gang environment, you, you, you breed and you feed off of that. So I had to learn how to kill all that with love, you know what I'm saying, because love is the only thing that can beat hate. And um, I try to do that with, with how I live and how my music is put out and how I'm always there for the people. I don't never just do shows for black people. I don't never just do shows for the hood. I do shows for people. I make music for people. And that's just how I've always been able to get out. And, that's why so many different people of different walks of life, you know, relate to me. It's not even that I'm 
from their hood or I'm from their community or I did the same things that they did. It's just they just naturally connect to me. So like on your show, um, I was watching it and it, and you were basically saying like you know that sky's the limit for you. You know, and if you didn't have this going on, that dope case or this case or that case, you know, you could be the next president if you didn't have those things. So has any has these things held you back from anything that you want to do? Yeah, I think they have. They've held me back, but you know. I, I did it to myself, so I can't blame nobody else. You know, it's just a matter of me trying to, you know, stay on the good streak and try to find what's right and, and stay in that lane and, and try to do more right than wrong. You know, I can't change what I did in the past, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could. No no amount of money or no superpowers can do that. So all I can do is just try to add on to the good that I'm doing right now. Speaking of good, um, I love this video for essential seduction. It's off the chain. <laughs> It's like, if you haven't seen it, it's like this. It's just a '70s throwback. Yeah. What What inspired that? I just felt like everybody doing the same thing right now. It's the same girls in the same videos, same cars, same champagne, same money in the air, same look, same clothes, same jewelry, and I just wanted to break the chain. As far as I've always been different, I've always been a trendsetter. So I felt like the only way I could get ahead is if I go back. If I go back to the days of when. Videos didn't cost a lot of money, and it was about the performance. It was about the outfit. It was about the look, and and that particular artist and whoever he was, and you believed him because he, he played that part. And I just wanted to play a character in that video, and just because it's me singing, it's not me rapping. So I definitely had to find something that was different to connect that. And I when you know looked at some Rick James videos and some Michael Jackson videos and some Time videos, and just took a little bit of all of those worlds and just put them all together and said, this is what I want to do. Let's check out the track right now. This is. Uh